we're asked to convert the Cartesian or rectangular equation x squared plus y squared equals nine to spherical coordinates and write in standard form, solving for rho. I'm gonna go ahead and show two ways of performing the conversion. Let's begin with the given equation. Because rho squared equals x squared plus y squared plus c squared, we can say x squared plus y squared equals rho squared minus c squared. Let's perform this substitution, which gives us rho squared minus c squared equals nine. Next, z equals rho cosine phi, and therefore z squared is equal to rho squared cosine squared phi. So now we have rho squared minus rho squared cosine squared phi equals nine. Now we'll factor out the greatest common factor on the left of rho squared, which gives us rho squared times the quantity one minus cosine squared phi. Using our trig identities, one minus cosine squared phi equals sine squared phi. Next we'll divide both sides by sine squared phi. And now we'll take the square root of both sides of the equation. Algebraically, we do have a plus or minus on the right, which gives us rho equals plus or minus three divided by sine phi. Let's go ahead and use the positive value and say rho equals three divided by sine phi. And now let's take a look at a second way to perform this conversion. Starting with the rectangular equation, let's substitute rho sine phi cosine theta for x and rho sine phi sine theta for y. And now we'll go ahead and square. Now comparing these two products on the left, the greatest common factor is rho squared sine squared phi. Let's go ahead and factor. This gives us rho squared sine phi times the quantity cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta equals nine. And again, using our trig identities, we know cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta equals one. And now we'll divide both sides by sine squared phi, giving us rho squared equals nine divided by sine squared phi. And once again, we now take the square root of both sides of the equation, which gives us rho equals plus or minus three divided by sine phi. And again, using the positive value, we have rho equals three divided by sine phi. And now let's go ahead and check this graphically. In blue, we have the graph of x squared plus y squared equals nine in 3D, which gives us the cylinder. And now we'll graph rho equals three divided by sine phi. Let's go ahead and graph that in red, and the two cylinders should overlap. And we can see they do. This verifies our work is correct. I hope you found this helpful.